In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you for standing. You may be seated. And now enjoy I Believe in Christmas. A long time ago, in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior was born, which was Christ the Lord. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? We're doing the Christmas play. You know that, right? What's, what's the matter with you? L look around you. Everyone's here, even our parents. Hi, Mom. Well, well, you see, I've been thinking about this, and, you know, I, I, really, I really don't know if I believe it all or not. What? You don't believe it? Are you kidding me? What don't you believe? Uh, well, I don't know if I believe the, the Christmas story. What? Uh, well, you see, oh, when I was younger, I believed in Santa Claus. And you all know what happened there. Oh, man. This is way worse than I thought. Take some deep breaths. It's supposed to help. Wait. I've had an epitome. Do you mean an epiphany? Whatever. I'll tell you the story of Christmas, and you can decide whether you believe it or not. But whether you believe it or not, it's still true. And the really good thing is that, since it's true, no one can ever take it away from you. If you think it'll help, thanks. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. A while back, there was a young woman named Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi. Do you believe yet? I don't know. Is she supposed to be talking to me? Mary lived in a town called Nazareth. The town is still there. You can go and see it. Oh, thanks. Mary was promised to be married to a man named Joseph. Lucky guy. Quiet. One day, she was visited by an angel of God. Now, you see, right there, an angel here on earth talking to some girl named Mary. I mean, there's no archaeological proof of that. Did you have breakfast this morning? Actually, I had cereal this morning. Do you have archaeological proof of that? No. My point exactly. So the angel says to Mary, Hail thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Doesn't that sound like a strange greeting to you? I imagine that's what Mary thinks. She looks really scared. Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. How will this be, since I'm not Mary? Oh, oh, I know this one. Shh! The angel is going to tell her. The Holy Ghost will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. That's not what... I told you! The angel is still speaking! Even Elizabeth, your cousin, is going to have a baby in her old age for nothing is impossible with God. It's amazing what they can do at those infertility clinics. <laughs> Dude, this all took place over 2,000 years ago. My bad. Who is this Elizabeth anyway? Did you skip a page? Hold on. Mary has one more line. I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. And then the angel left her. And Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea to see her relative, Elizabeth. Hey, where's she going? Who's this Elizabeth chick? Elizabeth was Mary's older cousin who lived in another town. She had been married to a good man named Zacharias for many, 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 many years. Well, that's strange. She doesn't look that old. <laughs> She's an actress. Months earlier, the angel had visited Elizabeth's husband, Zacharias. I knew you skipped a page. The angel had visited Zacharias when he had come to offer the sacrifice at the temple. What's the temple? It's like church, but before Jesus. Ah, okay. And the angel said, Hey, is that the same angel? Yes, it is. See, it was the same angel. We like to try and stay as close to reality as we can here. Oh, yeah. I can see that angel over there. He sure looks like a lot like the real one. And the angel said to Zacharias, don't be afraid, Zacharias. Dude, your angel's there. He just says that so much. Actually, angels are quite imposing figures. You can look up various passages in the Bible where their angelic appearances are recorded. Almost all of them reflect how frightened the person seeing them became. Dude, are you all right? Anyway, they ended up having to say it almost every time. Say what? Don't be afraid. 
Zacharias, your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. He will be great in the sight of the Lord, and he will help to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. But, but how could this be? I, I am old, and my wife is well along in years. Oh, man. Did you hear what he just said? He just called his wife old. Dude, he's in trouble. Oh, he did something much worse than that. He questioned an angel. Watch this. I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the day this happens. For you did not believe my words, which will come true at the proper time. What happened to his voice? Gone. Was it laryngitis? It was the power of God. Wow. You said it. Well, make sure that Zachariah didn't say it. Sure enough, just like the angel had said, Zacharias and Elizabeth were soon expecting their first baby, despite their old age. But Zacharias still couldn't speak. It wasn't very long at all before Mary came to visit her cousin, Elizabeth. Elizabeth! are you among women, and blessed is the baby you will bear. As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she that has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. My soul glorifies in the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. Mary's visit with Elizabeth and Zacharias lasted about three months, and then Mary went back home to Nazareth. Bye, Mary. Bye. Do you believe yet? I don't know. When Elizabeth's time came, she was delivered of a baby boy, just as the angel had said. When it was time to name the baby, their friends and neighbors asked them, What's the baby's name? His name is to be John. But nobody in your family is named John. He needs to be named after someone in your family. Zacharias, what do you think about this? What's the baby's name to be? His name is to be John. 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 Suddenly, Zacharias could speak again. Blessed be the Lord God who has visited and redeemed his people. And thou, my child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High. For you shall go before the face of the Lord and bring them the knowledge of salvation through the redemption of their sins, through the tender mercies of our God. Oh boy, all that time in silence must have given him enough time to think what he would say. And John grew up to become a great man, just like the angel had said. Later, he would be known as John the Baptist. He was a Baptist? Man, that's, that's cool. And so that's the end of part one. Do you believe yet? I don't know. Well, let's listen to a song, and then we'll have part two. Will Mary be back? I'm sure she will. She has a pretty big part to fill. All right, then. <laughs> And 
fill the world with heaven's peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to Meanwhile, back in Nazareth, we find Joseph, the man pledged to marry Mary, asleep in his bed. Joseph has had a hard day because as soon as Mary got back from visiting with Elizabeth, it was obvious to everyone that she was going to have a baby. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now, Joseph was a very good man, and he wanted to be kind and generous towards Mary, but since he knew the baby wasn't his, he wasn't sure what to do next. While he was still considering his options, an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream. Ugh. No, not this guy again. Did you have anybody, anybody else to play an angel? Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, for what is conceived in her is from the Holy Ghost. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him to do and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Hi, Mary. Hi. Do you believe yet? I, I don't know. Why don't you read a while? Why? Because my mouth is tired. I've been talking all day. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Where'd you leave off? Ah, here it is. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that everyone in the Roman world would be taxed. Why on earth would somebody order something stupid like that? Oh, you know politicians. They're always up in people's business. Huh. I get it now. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. And he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Is this almost over? Because, like, I'm getting hungry. And are there going to be cookies? Yes, there are going to be cookies. There's always going to be cookies. Do you even know what church you go to? Now read. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. Because there was no room for them in the inn. Hi, Mary. Hi. Do you believe yet? I don't know, but that's, that's a very pretty baby you got there. Yes, he is the son of God. And so that's the end of part two. Time for cookies? Nope, time for a song. stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear savior's birth long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees. Christ was born, O oh, night, O oh, holy night, O oh, night divine. 
truly he taught us to love one another his law is love and his gospel is peace change shall he pray for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name christ is the lord oh praise his name forever his little town of Bethlehem. There were shepherds living out in the fields, watching over their flocks by night. And all of a sudden, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were really scared. Wait a minute. Not. Ah. No. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Well, that's it. What a nice Christmas story. Hey, hold it. What happens next? Oh, you don't want to know. Yes, yes I do. What happens to Mary? What happens, what happens to the baby? How am I supposed to believe in Christmas if I don't know what happens next? Are you sure you want to know? Yes. Be careful. Wanting to know is the first step 
to believing. All right. Well, I want to know. Tell me. Okay. We'll read it together, and you can start. Not too far away lived King Herod. He was the king of the whole area where Mo, Mary, and Joseph were living. Why don't I like this guy? Because you have good taste. And who are, who are these people? They are wise men who lived in countries nearby, and they have come to find baby Jesus. Where he was born, King Herod, we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. King Herod knew the ancient prophecies that there would be a Messiah born to the Jews, and he knew that this was the king they were talking about. He secretly didn't want there to be any king but himself, so he asked the wise men, where is the star that appeared in the sky? So the wise men told King Herod exactly when they had seen the star appear. Go and find him. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can come and worship him as well. Wait a minute. I, I don't like this. Herod means to harm them. It'll be okay. No, no, it won't. Well, we've got to do something. We we've got to warn her. There's nothing to do. Do you want to go on and hear the rest of the story now? I don't. Yes. Okay. The wise men went on their way, and the star that they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Another route? You, you, you mean they didn't go back to Herod? Mary is safe? Yes! Not quite. What? Well, well, hurry up. Here, keep reading. Here, I'll do it, I'll do it. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to jo Joseph in a dream. No, no, you're kidding me. Not him again. <laughs> Arise, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you. For Herod is going to search for the child and kill him. So Joseph got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and fled for Egypt, where they stayed until the death of Herod. Yes, they made it. She's safe. The baby's safe. Even Joseph is so safe. This is the greatest story ever. That is the coolest angel I've ever seen. Angel, nice. Good work. <laughs> so, so is that the end? Almost. Later, Joseph was visited by an angel in a dream and told that Herod had died. So he and Mary and the young child Jesus moved back from Egypt to their hometown of Nazareth. And there it is, a very happy ending. Jesus grew up, lived a sinless life, taught about God who was his father, and later paid the price for the sins of the whole world. And now all who believe in him will have eternal life. So the question is the same that Mary's been asking you all day. Do you believe yet? Do I believe yet? Yes. You know, I, I think I do. I really do. You see? You really can believe in Christmas. That, that was awesome. Time for hot chocolate and cookies? Right after the last song. I do believe, you know. You know I think it was that angel. You know, he was great. I believe in Christmas, I believe in Jesus, I believe the story is true. I believe forgiveness came down to us from heaven, I believe in Christmas, do you? I believe a virgin conceived a son to be the Prince of Peace. I believe the manger was where she lay the tiny King of Kings. I believe in Christmas, I believe in Jesus. I believe the story is true. I believe forgiveness came down to us from heaven. 
again. 